And get ready for a cold night in the valley, coldest temperatures this season and the coldest temperatures since February. Let's go outside this evening to show you a nice sunset from our Hedrick Chevrolet Sky Cam in Clovis. We're looking towards Shaw Avenue and Freeway 168. You can see skies are clear, and that's the Save Mart Center off in the distance. And now that we have clear skies, temperatures are going to drop fast. We had a little bit of cloud cover here and there uh, this afternoon. Unfortunately, it's not sticking around, not widespread uh, to keep our temperatures above the freezing mark. So we're going to lose those clouds and our temperatures will drop below the freezing mark for a good portion of the night into tomorrow morning. So we're going to see areas of frost develop tonight into early Saturday morning. That might be the case again for Sunday, and we're going to break them. We might see another colder system down the line here. So high pressure control, that's keeping us dry. That's why the atmosphere has seen very little fog. A patch or here or there is possible, but that's about it, though. Nothing too widespread or severe. So we have plenty of cold air, not just for the valley, but much of California as well. Freeze warning in effect for the valley for midnight tonight until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Temperatures overnight will be about 28 to 32 degrees for about four to eight hours or so. And it could impact a number of crops here in the valley, but uh, also look out for plants outside your home and keep an eye on your pets and pipes outside uh, because these are the coldest temperatures in quite some time here. And tonight we're already in the 40s in a number of spots, especially in the South Valley for Kings and Tulare County. 46 now in Lemoore, 46 in Porterville, Fresno County northward still in the 50s this evening for uh, 50 degrees for Fresno, Merced, and Madera. And we are down a few degrees compared to this time yesterday compared to 24 hours ago, uh, about 3 degrees cooler in Merced tonight and 2 degrees cooler in Porterville. Our highs, though? actually seasonable in the afternoon hours. 53 the high today in Madera and Merced, 54 for Hanford and Visalia, Fresno at 53, pretty close to average for this time of year, or I should say right on average for this time of year. The average overnight temperature, 38 degrees, and this morning it was 34, so we're going a little bit below that for tonight. Good to moderate air quality for the Valley for tomorrow, and wood burning is prohibited only in Fresno and Madera counties unless your fireplace is registered. Other than that, it's okay to use your fireplace. Up in the mountains tomorrow, cold temperatures under partly sunny skies, Temperatures tonight, though, in the teens for Huntington and Sequoia, 20s for Yosemite and Shaver Lake. Afternoon temperatures will be in the 40s for most of the Sierra. And in the foothills for tonight, temperatures just below the freezing mark as well. Areas of frost possible late tonight into tomorrow. And temperatures in the afternoon in the mid-50s. Here are the lows for the Valley for tonight. Fresno at 33, 32 for Madera, and 31 for Hanford and Lemoore. And these are not record temperatures. Record low temperatures are in the low 20s for the Valley. So we're just going a little below average for this time of year, right at below the freezing marks, so coldest night we've seen in a while. Temperatures tomorrow, seasonable, will be in the 50s throughout most of the valley. Once areas of fog or frost clear, expect sunny skies in the afternoon. Here's the extended forecast from Mackey Weather. So temperatures the next few days in the afternoon in the 50s. We see some clouds roll in Tuesday, maybe a shower or two for the valley. It's mainly a system that will impact the mounds, producing a little bit of snow. But we have another system giving us cold temperatures just in time for New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. It's Likely to be a little bit colder than it is this weekend, but overall, mm -hmm. uh, be prepared for those cold temperatures for tonight. Very chilly out there. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Ruben.